Hi, I'm Kirk Newcomb for Ingo Company. Recently, West Tennesseans were treated to a fresh round of comedy at South Street Comedy Club here in Jackson. The comedian, Walt Willie, he brought a fresh routine to Jackson. He's been here a few times, but what makes him so special is he's better known on the ABC hit soap opera, All My Children, as Jackson Montgomery. Now, it's kind of hard to picture a daytime soap opera star as a stand-up comedian, but it works, and he does a very good job at both of those. But the Walt Willie you see on stage telling jokes is not the same Jackson Montgomery you see on TV every afternoon. Walt entertained the audience with lifetime stories, travel stories, stories about his job, life and job in show business, about kids and just everyday life. He also made an appearance that morning, that Friday morning on Good Morning West Tennessee. Here's Walt now to talk a little bit more about what he does. This year, my tour, I've really increased the tour a lot. Kind of for the reason we were just talking about, kind of a just in case got kind of house a, payments coming up. Uh, I got rid of a couple of houses. I, I, I don't, you know, I don't, um, I'm a very conservative guy and I, I, I see a bellwether change coming and I don't, I don't think it's going to be a particularly good one. I guess what I'm saying is I, I, I think whatever's going to happen is going to take a lot longer than people think for us to get back to where we were. And, uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to be old and poor. That's, that's no way to be. So uh, I'm doing about 30 cities this year. Normally I do about 20. So if I wow, okay. crank the tour up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. What are some of the things you're working on? Well, basically what, what I do is, I, you know, it's so tough. I mean, I get so many calls. People want me to do this or that. And you can wear yourself out. And really, I'm not sure you do a lot of good. It's kind of like spinning in the ocean. So what I did about, uh, about 12 years ago, I started I think called the Willy World Endowment Fund. And it's, what I do is that when I go on the road, I sell t-shirts and I sell DVDs of my act. Okay. And that money goes to fund this. And what I do is, you know, quarterly I pick a charity and I give them everything I've taken and plus I match it. Wow. And no one normally goes to, yes, yeah, so don't be too generous tonight, folks, because <laughs> daddy's got to match it. Um, but a lot of it goes to autism because, you know, God, God tells you what he wants. And uh, it was pretty clear to me that my daughter on all, all my children is autistic. My son in real life is autistic. He has a thing called wow. Asperger's syndrome. Uh, no, don't feel bad for him. It's, in his case, it's spelled genius because we caught it early, put him on a gluten-free diet, got him some occupational therapy, which in most states insurance won't cover. And that's where a lot of my money goes to is they're trying to get people to understand that if you just give him some occupational therapy. First of all, identify it early, and then by four or five, get him an OT, changes their life. My son just is right now rehearsing for his 21st play. He's won uh, awards in writing, in drawing. He's going to Spain as part of a, an honor scholarship thing in uh, a week, exactly a week. Wow. And I mean, this is a kid who we were told would never throw a ball, would probably never be able to run. Would certainly not do well in school. He's a straight A student. He's a high honor student. You know. And so I, I figure if I can maybe get some of what I've learned kind of the hard way with him out right. there, then I think it's going to be very helpful to a lot of people. We also spoke with Karen Brummer, longtime Walt Willie fan, and here she is now. Well, I was looking forward to coming out and seeing Walt tonight. Uh, I was here the last time he was here because I've been a fan of all my children. I started watching it in 1972, so I followed his career the whole time. I've watched him since he had poofy hair and as we've all aged, and I just really enjoy him a lot. I enjoy him on the show, and um, his comedy last time was hilarious, to say the least. Very different character from what he was on the show. So I just, I enjoy both Walt and Jack Montgomery. You can find out more about In Good Company anytime on the web at WBBJTV.com, then go to In Good Company.